Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video is another episode of Fix Your Wix. The series where we take one of your websites and we redesign the homepage for fun and educational purposes. If you would like to be on a future episode of this series, there's actually gonna be a link in the description that you can fill out. And for today's episode, we're gonna be designing a website for a Norwegian photographer. Now, in all honesty, this website does not look bad at all. And if I were to design some parts of this website, I would make some minor adjustments and maybe change the layout just a little bit. So overall, it doesn't look bad, but because of this series, we're gonna go in a completely different direction and we're gonna be designing a website like this. Let's go ahead and get started. As usual, I've already designed the header and footer to kind of save time in the video. So we can just go ahead and begin working on the page sections. So the first section that we're gonna have here, let's go ahead and make it 800 pixels for now. Then I want to add a strip inside of it. So we'll go to add strip. We'll send this strip to the top for now and we'll also set the height for this to be 800 pixels. Then we're gonna change the background to an image. And we'll choose this image right here. Let's go into the settings and kind of align it to the top, something like this. Then let's go to the background color. Let's choose our dark color and we'll lower the opacity quite a bit. Then in background scroll effects, let's add parallax, perfect. So now we should have something that looks like this. And what I would like to do is just go ahead and move this up behind the header. So it looks something like this. Then we'll grab the section itself and just double click this little icon right here. And it's gonna shrink the section to the bottom of the content here, which I like. Now let's go ahead and grab the strip and we'll select layout and align it to the left. So now we can actually put content over here. And what I want to do is add a couple text elements. So let's go over to text. I want to drag out this paragraph text. We'll say Norway photography. And we'll make it this nice like brown bronze type color, which I really like this color a lot. And I'll just bring it over here. Perfect. Next, let's grab a heading one. We'll say wedding. And, and then on the next line, we'll say portraits. And we'll actually bump up the size of this font to 120 pixels. We'll make the font white. And under character and line spacing, let's adjust the line spacing to something right about 1.9. Something like that will look really good. And we'll put this right underneath the Norway photography. And the next thing I want to do is add a couple buttons here. So what I'm gonna do is just come over to the header. I'm gonna copy this one since this one already has the styling that I like. And we're just gonna paste it right down here. And then what I want to do is go ahead and copy this button again, which it kind of looks like it disappeared. So I'm gonna go ahead and align it to the left. That way it actually appears for me. Sometimes when you copy and paste elements, it appears off screen or it appears as if it didn't work, but realistically it's just pasted off screen. So if you use these alignment tools, typically it'll help you bring them to where you can actually see them and actually grab and edit them. But for this button right here, we're gonna say view portfolio. And then for this button right here, we'll say view services. Just like that. And obviously this text needs, to, this button needs to be expanded just a little bit and even maybe a little bit with this view services here as well. And once we are happy with the position and everything like that, this section is now done. So let's go ahead and add a brand new section. We'll just make this a blank section. For this section, let's add a strip inside of it because we are gonna want some columns inside of it. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and go to stretched and I want to add 40 pixels here. 
Then with the strip, I want to remove the background color. And I also want to come to layout and add a column. Now, if I click layout again, we can actually adjust the layout of this. And I think I want something around 6733. Something like that should be fine. It doesn't have to be exact, but now we can put content over here and content over here. For this side, I actually want to align this to the left. That way we can put content right here. And then for this side, I want to press layout and align it to the right so I can put content here. Perfect. For this side, I just want to add a title text and a paragraph. So let's go ahead and press add. Go to text and we'll do a heading two, just right here. And what I want to do is use my shift and right arrow key to bump it over four times. So one, two, three, four. And it will be 80 pixels away from the side of the website over here. And just to make sure, I also wanna come over here and just do the same thing. I'm gonna line this up to the left and bump it over using the shift right arrow key eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll just grab each of these and make sure it's aligned up with the text. Just like that. I think that looks really good. Okay. So now we have this section. Let's go ahead and expand it out a little bit. Now let's add a paragraph text underneath it. And we'll expand the width a little bit here as well. And then over here on the right, we're just gonna want a button. So let's go ahead and grab one of these. We'll copy and paste it right here. And we'll go ahead and align it to the left. Well, it looks like it got put in the wrong column. So we'll put it over here. We'll align it to the left and we'll bump it over 40 pixels to the left, so shift left, one, two, three, four, just like that. And what I want to do is just kind of bring it up to where it's in line with the heading two text. Now with the design here, what I want to do is go ahead and change, we don't wanna change the fill, we want to change the border to this nice brown. And let's also do that for the text here as well. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is come over to the home page and just kind of copy the text over. So we got this one right here. And I'll go ahead and do that for the paragraph text as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the text from the other page make it the same size and we'll change the color. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and stretch this out just a little bit more. And now we can go ahead and resize this section to maybe to be about this size. And I think that looks really, really good like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add our next section. This section is gonna kind of display her two main services, which is wedding and portraits. For some reason it added two sections. So we'll just go ahead and edit this one. For now, let's make this like 900 pixels. Inside, what I want to do is add another strip. So I'll drag this strip out. Let's make this like 800 pixels in height and we'll move it to the top. For now, let's remove the background color. Let's go into layout and add a column. And we'll also come over to stretched and make sure we'll set the margins to 80 pixels. Okay, in this left-hand side, let's add a wedding photo. In this right side, let's actually add a portrait photo. Then with the strip selected, I actually want to come over to layout. We're going to go down a little bit and let's add like 40 pixel gap in between. And then we'll add like 40 pixel of padding here as well, which maybe we can even bump this up to 80 for each of them. 
I think that looks really nice. Now let's grab the strip background. Let's go ahead and change it to an image. And what I want to do is come to media from Wix and we can just find a texture that we kind of want to add to the background. Let's just choose something like this for now. Now let's go into the settings for this. We'll make the color this, this nice brown and then we'll lower the opacity down very low just to add very subtle texture to the background. Now what I would like to do is with these strip columns, I want to align them to the left for both of these. And I want to add some text. We'll do like a heading three. We'll send it to the bottom left. And maybe with the shift arrow keys, we'll bump it up and to the right two times. For this text, let's say weddings and we'll go ahead and make this text white. And we would also probably want to link this to like a page that gives more information about weddings. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing over here. We'll copy and paste it, move this to the bottom left, use our shift arrow keys two times up and to the right. And we'll change this text to portraits. Now we can grab the section itself and we can double tap this little arrow thing to shrink it to the maximum content, basically. Now let's go ahead and add a brand new section. For this section, we're really just gonna have some text inside of it. So all I want to do is add a strip. And the reason I'm adding a strip is so that I can press layout and align the content to the left. You can't do that with sections. With sections, you're basically stuck with placing things here in the middle. But when you add strips, you actually have the options to align your content to the left and right. So that's why I'm adding a strip here in this section. I'm also going to remove the background color because it's a little gray, but it almost looks white, but it's still a little off white. Okay. And what I want to do is add a heading to text here. We will put this like right about here. So that way it's 80 pixels away from the edge of the website. Let's go and expand this. And I'm just going to paste in some lorem ipsum, something like that. And I'll bump the size up to about 50 pixels. Something like that looks really good. Okay. And what I want to do is make the section very small just like this. And I want to add a section above and below for spacing. So I'm gonna add a blank section above. We'll make this section like 120 pixels, something like that. Then we'll copy and paste this section down below. So now we have equal spacing here and that looks really nice. Great. The next section that we're gonna add is just gonna be a giant image. So I'm gonna, of course, add a blank section. Let's make this like 800 pixels. Then let's add a strip to it. Let's send the strip to the top and also make this 800 pixels. And let's change the background. Okay, with the background image, let's add a parallax effect. Let's also come over to the stretched icon and add 80 pixel margin here. Then under layout, let's align the content to the left because I want to add a line here. So we're gonna come over to add, come over to decorative and let's just add this little box here. Let's send this box to the top left. We'll make the width like 20 pixels and we'll make the height the same as the box, so 800. And let's change the color to our brown. Next, I wanna grab this section that's used as a spacer. We'll copy and paste it. That way we just have equal spacing in between all of our sections and it looks very consistent. And then we're gonna add a brand new section. We'll just make this a blank section. And with this section, I'm gonna basically be adding a gallery so that she can showcase her work. So we're gonna make this like 2000 pixels high for now. We're gonna come over to add 
gallery and we can just drag out this masonry one. I think the masonry gallery just looks the best in my opinion. So I'm gonna bring it to the top. I'm gonna press stretched, stretched full width and set an 80 pixel margin here. Then I want to go into the media and we're just gonna delete all of the default ones and add our own. Okay, inside the settings for this gallery, we're gonna come over to layout, press customize, and we're gonna bump these up quite a bit more and we'll adjust the spacing as well. Maybe we'll just, to keep things consistent, we'll set it to 80. Okay, and I think that looks really, really cool. And now with this section selected, we can go ahead and double click this adjust section height, just like that. And now the only thing that we have left to do really is to add a kind of call to action. So let's go ahead and add a section. My favorite call to action is basically under the welcome one. We can select this option right here. I think this makes for a really, really nice call to action. Let's go ahead and bring it down just a little bit. Same with the strip height. Okay, we'll grab these, kind of make sure that they are centered. We can grab the background color and remove the color completely. And let's go ahead and grab this text right here. We can make this our gray color and we'll also set this to 18 to match basically our text from up here. And then the last thing we need to do is kind of change the button because we don't want that styling. We want this one right here. So I'm gonna copy this button, come all the way down here. I'm gonna paste the button and I'm just gonna make sure that they're kind of in line with each other. And I'm gonna move the button up a little bit temporarily so I can delete the one underneath it. And then we'll move this one back down. And maybe for this button, we can say get in touch. But besides that, here is the brand new homepage. And I think it looks really, really nice. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.